Welcome back to From the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with our first look at 2021-2022 Series 2 Hockey Tins. So, brand new release out. Everyone knows tins are probably one of my favorite things to open. Um, they always kind of have been. When it comes to retail, obviously, I think a hobby box is still you know, probably the best value overall. We're going to be opening two of these for everybody that wants to kind of see it. So make sure you stick around for both. And if you haven't yet hit that like, hit that subscribe. And lots of different hockey products on the channel. Um, this is going to be... I'm just trying to get this sleeve off because it's taking me forever. I swear I do this all the time. Um, so here's your tin. Here it is. We are going to get... Uh, the bonus pack of three Opeachy cards, which is kind of what we're all used to. Uh, it's eight cards per pack, uh, eight eight cards per pack, nine packs per ten. The ninth pack is that Opeachy. So here's the Opeachy just by itself on the one side. That's different than it has been in years past. Maybe it's just this one. Maybe it'll be a lucky tin. And then here's all of our packs. So... As always, uh, they're just giving us less and less before you kind of have the chance of possibly hitting, you know, three young guns in a tin. Nope, not anymore. Uh, we should, you know, with four packs, eight, eight packs, that's a young gun every four packs. We're going to get two young guns in this. So we'll blow through these. You guys can see what the Series 2 uh, Opeachy glossies look like. Yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, so here we go. We got here we go, Mason McTavish. Got a couple of him off at PSA. We'll be back with their eighteen dollar grading, so we'll be back like end of December. Uh, Mason McTavish there. Vasily Potts Colson. A couple of guys. I pulled a couple of them. You guys are reaching out as soon as I pull them, uh, and you guys are grabbing them from me. So we got uh, Vasily Potts Colson, and then we got uh, Uko Pekka Lukanen. So. There are our first three cards. They call it a bonus pack. It, I guess it's a bonus pack, but it's a bonus pack of cards that probably are never going to be worth more than like $3 in the long term. Maybe they're worth a couple bucks right now if you pull a, a cider or something like that, but in the long run, not going to be worth a whole lot of money. So here we go. Take a look at these. And hopefully, once again, we're hoping for some big guys here. We're hoping for Cider, Raymond, Mace McTavish, uh, Dawson Mercer, uh, Cole Sillinger. He's actually not as high as I thought he was. Um, anyways, there's a bunch of guys in this that are, it's, it's a pretty good crop. So, Brady McNabb, Ryan Hartman, Barkov, Jumbo Joe. I pulled him in the last hobby box I think I opened. Uh, so, Jumbo Joe, there's another one of him. Wallstrom, Sean Couture. Orlov and Mikheyev. So, backdrop of the day. Decided to go with some of the cards for my recent um, PSA submission. So, we have the Iron Man PMG Purple. Beautiful looking card. Nine's super hard to get in that. It's like a pop 16, uh, with like three higher. So, obviously, pretty hard to hit. Um, we got the first young gun already Andrew Kopp, Brady Kachuk. And our first young gun is for the Blue Jackets, Gregory Hoffman. So not the guy we we're looking for. What is screwing this up here? What's screwing up the focus? There you go. Gregory Hoffman. I was hoping for a coal cylinder there. Not the case. There's our first young gun. Let's put him over here. So, um, yeah, then we have beside the Iron Man, we got the Zach Wilson Impeccable. Dual patch. Uh, it's a glove and a helmet uh, out of 15. That's a PSA 10 with a 10 auto. Anyway, that knows thick cards, and that is a thick card, uh, that's a super hard grade to get. So I was very happy by that. There we go. Cool cylinder. Maybe a little bit of a Columbus Blue Jackets break here. Uh, Mark Stahl, Tebu Teravainen, Michael McLeod, and a Wayne Simmons. And then beside that is. Uh, Kirill Kaprizov pulled. Had two of them graded over there. Both of them came back PSA 10s. Pretty happy with that for sure. Um, so yeah, anyways, once again, if anyone's interested in any cards I have, uh, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want to check me out on uh, to message me for stuff. So we got 
There we go. Rookie threads. Let's look at the rookie materials of Colt Perfetti. There we go. Colt Perfetti, memorabilia certified, worn by the feature player. So I guess. There we go. Cole Perfetti. I don't think I've pulled him yet for the actual young guns. So there we go. Not a bad little. Uh, we'll grab a thing. We'll throw. We'll throw Cole Perfetti up there. A little bit of a difference in the price between that and the other patch cards back there, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, like I said, I always tell everybody like if you guys ever have any questions, I I'm in Discords. Um, if you want to find me, there's uh, Canada Sports. Car no Canadian cards, maybe. Um, I can link it in the if anybody wants to reach out to me on Instagram or anything. I can probably give you guys a link for that too. Um, but yeah, lots of ways to talk if you guys want to just talk about hockey, talk about the hobby. We got the Islanders, we got Zach Parise. Always kind of weird to put, put him on the Islanders. Neil Pioink, uh, Jordan Everlay, and Amika Zabinajad. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I've been doing quite a few deals with people off. <laughs> online uh which is pretty good so we got joe pavelski jonathan quick and our next young gun is for the golden knights that's not the team you want to see this is jake listison so there we go uh also by the way before we get too far into this do not buy these from walmart can I tell you guys all right now okay walmart is terrible for buying cards from uh obviously some people have to when it comes to like Including me, when it comes to like football retail in Canada, uh, basketball retail in Canada, you don't really have any other options. If you can find it like a Toys R Us, maybe you're fine. But for the most part, if you're looking for stuff, go to your local hobby shop. If you don't know if you have one, Google card shop, card trading card shop, whatever it is. Uh, do whatever you can and do not give the money to them. Uh, these are $50, I think, on Walmart's website. I got these for like $35 a piece. Um, from my local hobby shop. So take that with what you will. It's, it's, it's $15 of 10. That's a huge amount when you're trying to get some kind of value back for opening up cards here. So we got our orange dazzler, Casey Middlestat, Connor Hellebuck and Jordan Biddington. And just falls me around. Jordan Biddington, you get the blues logo. I really like this, this year's dazzlers. Uh, Brandon Carlo, a checklist of Nate and Leon, coupled the double 29s there, but there we go. So we're getting the second one once again. Got cats all around me. Um, where am I going to put this that you're not going to try to eat or destroy the plastic? Yep, you walk away. So hopefully the second tin's a little better. Obviously, the Cole Perfetti rookie threads is pretty cool. Okay, no, they're all like that. I thought it was kind of odd that you had the uh, eight on one side and then just the bonus pack on the other, but apparently that's how they're packed this year. It's again, kind of odd. Let me know if your packs of your tins are like that too, if you're opening up tins. Um, but yeah, here we go. Off into the second batch of glossy rookies. The bonus pack. They get you. The bonus pack. Not a bonus pack. Still better value than blasters, in my opinion, just because you're guaranteed two young guns. So I'd pay an extra five or ten bucks for a product to know I'm going to get two young guns for sure. To me, I think that's worth it. David Ferrance, Wyatt Kalonic, and other facility. And he's just following me around to this year. <laughs> Clear cut young gun. I think I may have pulled. I was going to say, I think I pulled his French young gun, but I don't think I did. So, I'm sure he'll be a name that follows me around all year. So, here we go. Patrick Kane, Nick Cousins, Chris Letang, Dylan Dubé, and Jack Aiken. I'm pretty sure I have this exact same card. Nope, I have the Oscar Steen. I have a pile for beside me, but I have a Jack Aiken uh, marquee rookie beside it. So... Back to the Boston Bruins pile. Uh, Colin Miller, the Diving Dean himself, Nikolai Ehlers, and Beauvillier. So, I, well, I've said it many times, though. I think this is an awesome class. I, I'm all in on the hobby boxes for this. Like, I think they're a good deal just because of the potential 
you know guys you can pull. Mike Smith, our first young gun from this is going to be for Winnipeg. It's going to Cole Perfetti. Talked about him earlier. We got him doubling up on him. Cole Perfetti. I got a cat that's being a jerk behind the scenes in the camera. I'm giving him a death stare. He doesn't see me giving him a death stare. Um, but here's Cole Perfetti. Let's check to see. I didn't check on the other ones. Let's see how the quality control is. Not too bad. The edges got a little bit of a uh, not the greatest top edge in the world, but I wonder if the just if it had like a obvious once again like kind of like the hobby where it's like oh most of them have a a notch over top of like the upper deck star but there we go once again i don't think i pulled a cole perfetti yet i've lost track at this point though just not gonna lie to you guys so double up on the cole perfetti people are pretty high on him they like him i don't know what winnipeg's doing I'm trying to figure it out all the time Pierre-Luc Duval wants out of there. He wants no part of it. It's kind of an awkward situation. Uh, Stanley Cup champion, Arturi Lekkonen, Kevin Rooney, Radic Fox, uh, Mason McTavish again. He wants to follow me around through like big products this year. I will not complain about, complain about that. Brady Shea, Leon Dreisaitl, and Kevin Shattenkirk. Um, also, I'm hearing that like I think the rest of the product, um, I don't know about extended series, but I think like other stuff like any of the bigger stuff like platinum i think it's all been pushed back super far so have to wait and see matthew barzell rasmussen nate dog matt duchene aaron eckblad burkowski okay so it was just base pack we didn't hit a base pack in the first one right no we didn't i guess maybe that's that was the rookie threads we hit instead of the base pack but doubling up i don't expect to see another huge young gun that was kind of the cool thing if you hit like a third young gun in the tin it's like you could hit two really good young guns once again kind of cool. oh we got a young guns canvas though there we go essa lindell Elias samsonov and the young guns can canvas is this him again oh <laughs> i thought i thought it was him uh jesse lennon i obviously thought it was a cole caulfield uh i was gonna laugh because i everyone that knows me and has watched this channel uh has you know saw that i wasn't able to pull a cole caulfield i'm still haven't pulled a cole caulfield uh regular young guns uh but here's a jesse lennon not bad i think i'm pretty sure i already have this one um but there we go young guns canvas it's a nice little bonus hit yeah, that's why I love tins or blasters and stuff. You just the more packs and like I said for the little bit extra in the price, I'd like to guarantee that I can. I think because I think it was twenty, I think like twenty five dollars or whatever they are for blasters. It's like okay, I'd rather pay the thirty five and kind of guarantee myself a second young gun. Once again, maybe I'm out to lunch, but to me, I think it's better value. So here we go. Gonna get a third young gun in this though. That's pretty good. Uh, Marco Scandella, uh, former Moncton Wildcat, Ivan Barbashev, Jonas Brodin, Loke Couture. And our next young gun is gonna be for the Devils, Mason Gertson. So not the Dawson Mercer we pulled a couple of lately, but we got the, the Mason Gertson. This, look at that edge though. Like that is. I thought the quality, I found the hobby quality was really good. What's the other one? The Cole Perfetti like that? No, Cole Perfetti's not like that at all. So that top edge is meh i guess but the side edge so that's kind of weird even this one this one's got a little bit waiting on the bottom corner um but all the edges are pretty good that's odd that that's uh usually you see like 
they, they're, they're pretty much the same. You have like, if you have one edge on one of the cards in the pack, in the box, you have both edges, right? Um, you would thought that they can kind of came off the same assembly line, but apparently not. Maybe they sharpened the blade after uh, Gertzen got off the, off the production line here. Ryan Hartman, Barkov again, and we got a Cole Lind for Seattle. He just uh, re-signed not too long ago. We got the honor roll. I don't mind that insert. It's kind of a decent little. It's colorful. Nothing too, too crazy, but. And then final pack. Once again, thank you guys for all for watching. If you haven't yet, like I said, hit that like, hit the subscribe. I'm going to be trying to do a couple other different things on the channel. Obviously, I open up products, so I have like three blasters I've extended to open up. Uh, I have another tin of Series 1. Uh, from this year that I'm going to open up because I'm a sucker for punishment. And uh, yeah, so anyways, hopefully you guys check that all out. I do try to open up new product. Uh, I keep on telling myself I'm not going to open up any more SPA, but I can lie to you and you can lie to me, but it's uh, we both probably know what's going to eventually happen is a long time is going to go over and I'm probably going to open up more uh, SPA trying to finally hit something decent uh in, in it so uh there it is like i said not a terrible opening like i said it's 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 tense it's, it's once again my favorite retail product to open over blasters and megas and all this stuff also once again saying this for the thousand time do not buy this from walmart if you don't have it if you have a choice go find your local hobby shop they should be around like 35 bucks plus tax um in canada obviously in the states maybe you guys get them a little bit cheaper uh, maybe the tins in the Walmarts in the States are a little bit cheaper too. Uh, MJ Holdings here in Canada just kind of has, they just decided that they're just going to up the price on everything over the last like two years. Um, now they're just, everything is $50 essentially as soon as you go into that store. Uh, I think Megas are like 75 bucks or something like that. It doesn't make any sense at all. Go to your local hobby shop, go give them money instead of the big box store at the highly toxic uh walmart and like i said make sure you guys like and subscribe for eric from the bench we'll talk to you guys later bye guys